Hello, class. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> All right. Hey, good evening. Good evening. Hello, how, how, how are you now? Uh, much better. Much better, mister. I feel, uh, now I feel completely much better than Monday. Oh, very good. Good to hear. But are you still in quarantine? No, no, not anymore. Okay. I, I, I start going out on Monday, but on Monday I was kind of dizzy. Okay. Now I feel much better. Hey, I remember you told me you went to a, a, a wedding, correct? Yeah, exactly. Did anyone else get sick at the wedding? Yeah, yeah, we get four. Four, four of the wedding get COVID. Oh, man. Yeah, it's really strange, that thing. It's really, really strange. But it's yeah. the real life now. Yeah. I have a cousin that she's, she's going to marry her, her fiancé, but um, he's Chinese. Oh, really? So, um, so then they were going to get married when the when the uh, pandemia started. So then, um, so then they postponed the wedding. Yeah. For two reasons, you know, one, the pandemic, they, you know, people couldn't come in or people couldn't leave the country. Yeah. And two, he was Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> so I told my cousin, look, I don't think it's a good idea to have like a hundred Chinese people in a hotel <laughs> yeah. in, in this moment. So she postponed it like for six months, I think, because, you know, the pandemic was only going to be for one or two months. Yeah. And then so she postponed it. When the six months came, she postponed it again. Yeah. So she's actually going to get married. I think in November, not in September. But um, but you know how the, uh, the government, I, I don't I don't really understand that law again. The reunions are illegal now, or or I don't understand. Supposed to be uh, Ill, uh, Ill, illegal. Supposed to be legal, but I don't know if birthday day you can celebrate. I don't know. It's, it's, it's very it's very because they they it's, it's new. They put it like 20, 20 days ago the new law that is mm. not that is not allowed to is not. To, to make parties and that thing, but I yeah, I, I, you can't gather. A group of people can't be gathered. But still, I, I still see people gathering. Yes, it's really strange. Yeah, I hope, I hope, I hope the government closes the country again. So because I really don't want to go to her wedding. <laughs> <laughs> because when I got married, she gave me one hundred dollars in a in an envelope. So that means I have to give her a hundred dollars too, right? So <laughs> okay. That, that's what uh, I tell yeah. me. You know, I'm like I was happy, like, did you see the news? The government's gonna close again. I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes. So why are you so happy? We're not gonna go to the wedding. Why? I want to go to the wedding. You're crazy. We have to give them a hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, but you have to be smart. You have you don't have to say you have to give that you have to give a gift. You have to say that that. We and we we don't have to go because because you don't want to get infected. No, you know you know yeah, but still, I mean, when it's family, you still like even though if you don't go, you still send the uh, the envelope. I think I don't know. Hmm. I I just because the last time I spoke with her mother, she says, you know what? I think they're just going to get married in the United States. And I was like, yes, yes, please. Yeah, <laughs> that would be better. Yes. <laughs> So, uh, what about you, Gio? Do you um, do you work from home or do you go to the office? You go to the office, right? No, I'm working from home. Oh, you work from home? Yeah. Okay. And your wife, too? Yeah. Ah, uh, that sucks. Yeah. Hmm. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, you know, sometimes it's kind of like... 
good to be separated for a while. Yeah, yeah. it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. But oh, you don't have children, right, Gio? Yeah. One. Oh, you have a child? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Twelve. Twelve? Yeah. Oh, cool. Does he like rock music too? Uh, in the beginning, yeah. But right now, he's more often the electronic. Oh, okay. But, but he, there, there's one kind of music he don't like for sure, and it's reggaeton. Oh, that's said, good. He said that he hate that music. <laughs> Oh, wow, that, that's that's a very good. Yeah, yeah that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. And Eduardo, I'm sorry, I forgot. Where do you say you work? Uh, in, in the city, I, I sell fuel to the industry. You sell fuel, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, Ricardo, do you know how the fuel process works? Because fuel goes up and down, up and down. Really, is that... Is that out of your hands? Is this is just how it is? When does fuel go up and when does it go down? I think hey. you're on mute. Sorry. I think I think you're on mute. Oh wait, wait, wait. Which, okay. No, yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, the the price. The fuel price is, in, for example, in the suburb, can control that. <clears throat> we obey what international pro, what international demand uh, offer to us. Okay. How much is it that we pay for the war tax? It's 25 cents, right? Yeah, 20, 25, then 10% for Cotrans. The, 10% of IVA and 12 of Jovial. We, are, we pay a lot of taxes for, yeah. for, the, for the fuel. I have some friends that are telling me that Mexico is worse in this moment. Mexico is very expensive. The, uh... Oh, you know who told me that? Los Catarinos, the, the, the ones that, the YouTubers. The person, the guy, he is from Argentina and she's from Brazil. And they were in a uh, combi. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we yeah, write they're, every. Hmm? They're in Mexico right now, right? Yeah, they're in Mexico. And, you know, they sent me a, a, they sent me a message one of these days and they told me, oh, man, gasoline here is very expensive. It's not like in El Salvador. They, they, they miss El Salvador. Uh -huh. and they say, oh, man, food here is very expensive. Not like in El Salvador. Not like <laughs> yeah, but they're saying that because. They could fuel maybe a year ago that the fuel was very, was very cheap. How much does it cost the, the fuel in Mexico? The thing is that in Mexico it's liters. So liters. Uh, you buy it by liters. And I think, oh yeah, um, Eduardo, is it true that in El Salvador we're going to start uh, by liters? Yeah, they, they're going to change that. I, I don't know why. Mm. They're going to change that. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't know why they are going to do it. But what? it's the same. It's the same. Yeah, the it's same. same thing. I, I was thinking, yeah, the same. And what, I have another question. Is it possible to mix fuel with water? <laughs> no, no. Try it. Try in your car. You will see. <laughs> try no, no, no. No. <laughs> it, it, no. Can your car still walk or, or go? No, eh, maybe, but we'll, you, you will damage that car. Yeah. That the engine. Reason, yes. The reason why I'm, I'm telling you this is because there are some bad people. There are some bad people in the country. And I don't know if you saw a video circulating of this driver, this motorcycle driver. He says, I am in La Uno, no sé dónde, by um, Los Procedes. And look, this is what they're selling. And then they show... He showed like a water bottle and the gasoline with full of water. No, that's, that's <laughs> yeah, but I don't he think was, that could, but, but, no, yeah. He says they, they're putting water in the gasoline, so please don't go to that gas station. Hmm. And I said, That's that's not cool because 
that, I mean, who's gonna be stupid enough to put water in the gasoline? Yeah, yeah, that's not. There are always people do that. It's like when have you seen that? Some people say that you can shrink a, a penny in a microwave. Have you seen that? No. They said, look at this. This is a penny. You do. And you put it inside the microwave for a minute. You can shrink it. <laughs> Man, I, I, I thought some people will do that. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, there must be. And some idiots, they, they will yeah. do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. All right. Hi, Yanira. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hello. Hi. Good. Um, Yanira, how are your migraines? Mm, it's better, but no, it's, it's, I don't know, uh, I don't know how to say. I had a game grain, but it's not so hard. It's not, okay. It's, it's a pasante. Um, Yanira, I, I, I'm sorry, I, a quick question. You don't drink, do you? Do you drink liquor? Can you? No, because I, I want to understand a migraine. Is it similar to like the next day after you drank too much and you have a headache? Like, oh, mm. is that is that the same kind of pain that you feel or no? Sucks. Yeah, I heard some people seen lights, color lights, but for, for the pain, that me rain. Um, for example, when when I have me rain, I can uh, use the the light. Uh huh. Yeah. Because light is very very very. Duele uh más. -huh. So so it's very sensitive. Yeah. Yes, and I can eat some kind of of, of meals. For example, I can eat a uh, lactose. I can eat a uh, pineapple. Uh, pineapple. Yes, when I eat pineapple, I have me pain. And wow. when I eat uh, strawberries, uh, fruits that are very acid. Wow. Oh man. And have you always had that? No. What? Have you always had those pains? I don't want those pains. Um, the migraines. It's oh it's not migraine, it's migraines. Have you always migraines? Mig yeah. Have you always had migraines? Uh when I ha was 12 years old, it began. Oh, man. And what do the yes. doctors say? Is it, is it it's, what? It's associated with the hormonal changes. Mm. Okay. Oh, well, that's terrible. Yes. <laughs> yeah. What about you guys? Do you guys have anything similar, like unique? Like, are you daltonic or, or lactose intolerant or anything? No. No. Maybe the 
the lack of money maybe <laughs> yeah yeah i think we all have that, the lack of money <laughs> no the only thing i have is um tripophobia and and it's That's something tripophobia. and yeah. it's something it's very stupid but i have it and <laughs> And it, it's, 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 it's ugly. I have tripophobia and claustrophobia too. I have the claustrophobia. Yeah. Yes, I don't like closed spaces. That's why I don't like going to Galerias or Multiplaza because I hate that parking. I hate the underground parking. I always like open parkings. I don't like um, underground parkings. You can even breath in the inside there. Mm -hmm. you no, can you can't. You breath. can't. It's so hot down there. I remember um, mm -hmm. when. Remember when I told you that I had an accident in San Miguel? Um, I think that's when I, my claustrophobia began. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember one time I was going with my family, and we we're going to this beach, but we passed all the tunnels. What mm -hmm. is that road to Sonsonate where you pass the tunnels? Uh, yeah. Yeah. But there is one really, is, really, yeah. really long one. Yeah. And I was driving and and I froze. I stopped and I froze. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah, because it was extremely dark and you don't see anything. It's like, and then you, you look around and you see rocks. Yeah. I would, yeah, that was ugly. I will never go through that again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so claustrophobia is ugly. And I just recently discovered I'm afraid of doves. Or pájaros, you know, doves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> one time one entered my house and I got nervous, like, ah, my God, oh my God, and doves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there are, there are some strange... What is doves? Palomas, Dobes. 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 Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's dove. Yeah. So, um, yesterday we were doing. I wish. Let me see. Let me, let me share the screen. Where's Ricardo? I'm surprised he's not here today. Can you ever imagine Ricardo angry? <laughs> mm, no. I imagine Ricardo's the type of person that you hit his car and he gets off happy. Like, are you okay, my friend? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I imagine you, that. yeah, you crash into him, you know, yeah. <laughs> and he gets off the car. He's, are you okay, my friend? <laughs> I think he's that type of person. He must be. Hey, a, you're with the bat in the hand. Yes. He, <laughs> he, must, he must be a cool boss. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, so instructions. It says rewrite this statements using the words in parentheses. Remember to use capital letters and periods. I can't find time to exercise. I think we did this yesterday, right? Yes. Yes. yes okay. Yeah, this is the one that we had pro like. Yes. Yeah. The TV had, had the to be television. Five and eight. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's listen to this. It says, listen to these on the street interviewers. What values do these people think are important? Number the values in order you hear them. Nine. Important values. A. Listen to these on the street interviews. 
What values do these people think are important? Number the values in the order you hear them. We're back on the street for the Ask the People portion of our show. Today, our question is, what values do you think are the most important and why? Now, I just have to find some people who are willing to talk to me. Excuse me, sir. Yes? My name is Andy Simmons. I'm a reporter for WQZ, and we're on the air. Do you have a moment to talk with us? Uh, well, uh, I'm on my way to work. This should just take a moment. Well, okay, but make it fast. Okay. We're asking people what they think are the most important values in today's society and why. Hmm, that's a tough one. I guess I think it's important to listen to your parents. Kids these days. My kids never listen to anything I say. Aha, uh -huh. so you think it's important to respect your parents? That's right. Sorry, I've got to go. Bye. Goodbye. Boy, was he in a hurry. Miss, excuse me. Miss? Hello? Hmm? Yes? Do you have a second? I'm Andy Simmons from WQZ. I'm doing a radio show. Uh-huh. Well, um, we're asking people on the street what values they think are important and why. I'm sorry, I don't really have much time. It'll just take a second. Okay, then. I don't know. I guess that honesty is important. You know what they say. Honesty is the best policy. Okay, that's interesting. Well... I mean, you're just going to get in trouble if you're not honest. At least, that's been my experience. I see. Listen, I have to go. Thanks. Let's see if I can find one more person. Oops! Ouch! I'm sorry. I didn't see you standing there behind me. Are you okay? No! You stepped on my toes. What are you doing standing here anyway? Well, actually, I'm interviewing people. I'm Andy Simmons from WQZ. What's that? I'm Andy Simmons from the radio station WQZ. I'm doing on-the-street interviews. Oh, okay. We're asking people about values. Oh. What values do you think are most important in today's society? Privacy. I'd have to say privacy. I think people need to respect each other's privacy. Like right now. You really need to leave me alone. Huh. Uh, oh, well, I'm sorry. Uh, folks, that's all the time we have today for our show. Today's question was, what values do you think are important in today's society and why? After this experience, I'd have to say one thing we all need to work on is being kinder, especially to news reporters. This sure is a tough job. This is Andy Simmons of WQZ Radio signing off until next time. All right. I like how the one was talking about, yeah, you have to respect, respect, but I have to go, I have to go, I have to go. Mm -hmm. So, so, cool. so what do you think honesty would be? Two. Two. Privacy? Three. Three and one. And respect, one. Two, three and one. Yeah. Do you like that song, Respect? It's from the 80s. Respect. Just a little Respect. respect. That's a cool song. That one, I try to discover a little something to make me sweeter. Remember that song? No. Oh, baby, refrain from breaking my heart. Oh, my God, it's a famous song. I'm so in love with you. I'll be forever blue. Just a little. That guy, he has AIDS, the singer. But it's it's a it's a classic. I know that if I'm not a good singer at all, but I know if you hear that song in, in YouTube or something, you'll remember. Just a little respect. Just a little respect. Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to me. They've done many very many covers of that, but from, from whom? Um Erasure. 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 Yeah. Ah, erasure. Yeah, the good band. Yeah, they were cool. They sang. I want to be with you. Yeah, they, they, had, they, had, they had good songs. Mm -hmm. The singer, he has AIDS. But um, but he's alive. Yeah, he's, he's had AIDS for a while now. He's alive. Yeah. 
Okay, um, let's do the reading part. New York honors a hero. Let me see. You want me to read and if you don't understand the word, you tell me, okay? Okay. So it says, it started a typical day for Wesley Autry. Autry. No, Autry. Are, are those two T's? Okay. Yeah, two T. Autry. Okay. Let me see. If no, it's, it's one T. I think it's R. It's one T and R, right? So R. Yeah. I think it's T and R. Autry. All right, so it would be, uh, it started as a typical day for Wesley Autry. A 50-year-old construction worker in New York City. It was about 12.45 p.m. and he was waiting on a subway platform to take his daughter home before he went to work. He suddenly noticed a man nearby have convulsions and collapsed. Mr. Autry and two women went to help the stranger. The man, Cameron Hollopeter, Hollow Peter managed to get to his feet, but then stumbled at the edge of the platform and fell into the subway tracks. Mr. Autry looked up and saw the lights of the subway train approaching through the tunnel. What would you do? Stand horrified and watch helplessly. I'm sorry, what would you do? Stand horrified and watch hopelessly? Most people would jump in to help, but only if there were no train in sight. Mr. Autry acted quickly. He leaped down onto the track. He realized that he didn't have time to get Mr. Hollopeter and himself back up on the platform before the train arrived. So he lay on top of this is the man he's, he laid his in past. So he laid on top of the man and pressed down as hard as he could. Although the driver tried to stop the train before it reached them, he couldn't. Five cars passed over them before the train finally stopped. The cars had passed only inches from his head. His first words were to ask onlookers to tell his daughters he was okay. New York loves a hero, and there was no question that Mr. Autry's actions had been just that heroic he became an overnight sensation people couldn't get enough of the story the media named him the subway superman new york city mayor michael bloomingberg gave him the bronze medallion the city's higher highest honor in the past this honor has gone to such people as general douglas macarthur martin luther king jr and muhammad ali he was also asked to appear on several high-profile television talk shows. His self, selfless bravery was also rewarded with money and gifts. Among the other things, Mr. Autry received $10,000 from Donald Trump, a $5,000 gift card from the Gap clothing store, a new Jeep, tickets and backstage passes to the next Beyonce concert and a free one-year public transfer past a Disney ambassador. Uh, a Disney ambassador thanked him with one week all expense paid trip to Disney World and tickets to see the Lion King on Broadway. Man, how did Audrey, Navy, um, how did Audrey Audrey, a Navy veteran react to all this? Honorably, he said, I don't feel like I did anything spectacular. I just saw someone who needed help. I did what I felt was right. Nice. Hey, we should do a business, you know, like we should go to New York and pretend that we don't know each other and then you jump. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll, pretend, I'll pretend I can save you and we share. <laughs> we, go, we go half and half. Oh mm -hmm. Yeah, good business. Little bit. Yeah. We need the visa first. That's true. We need a visa first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, look, it is Autry. It's A U T R E Y.
Yeah. Hey, Donald Trump gave him five thousand dollars. That's cool. <laughs> I miss Donald Trump. He was an interesting president. He was funny. <laughs> <laughs> funny, yes. <laughs> yeah, he was funny. He was entertaining. I loved, I love watching his press conferences. Yeah. Okay, who's next? You. Oh, Mr. President, no se queda. You're stupid. You're a reporter. You should be ashamed of your university. Next. <laughs> He's like, yeah, he... Helena. He's like, who? Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. they, they had, they had like these things. You say style, no? yeah, a style of person, yeah. Yeah. So number one, it says Autry hadn't noticed Holla Peter before he fell into the tracks. True or false? False. 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 He did notice. Remember, he was having a convulsion. Yeah. Just real quick, let me tell you a story about what happened. One time, I saw this man having a convulsion. Right. Mm -hmm. It was exactly in the Burger King and Manuel Enrique Araujo. I don't know if it still exists. Yeah, I think it does. Well, the thing is, I was waiting for my wife, and um, this man, he was like in, in, in the grass, and he was like shaking. He was having an attack, and everybody was just looking at him, and I go, well, what's wrong with him? It's having a, have you called 911? And everybody, yeah, see. And I start calling 911. I promise you it was maybe 45 minutes and they never answered. 911 never answered. And so luckily there was two um, motorcycle policemen that were passing by. Hey, police, police, hey, hey, hey. And everybody, you know, starting, hey, hey, hey. So in the two, um, the two policemen, they came and they started, by this time the man was still, um, you know, with convulsions. And then the, the policemen just look at him and they say, okay. And they start doing that, that thing, you know. Sierra, Sierra, diez uno, diez uno, blah, 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 blah. You know, and then the policemen, they told us, okay, look, we just called the police because we are tourism police. Pero ya llamamos a los que van a venir a atenderlo. And, and we were like... <laughs> Can't you take him to the hospital, dude? Or have, you know, put your sirens and take him. No, we can't do that. Okay, so then the other police come. And this was like, I wish I had a, I, I had smartphones with. And then the other police come and they just look at him. ¿Qué pasó? Okay, okay, permítame. And then they, say, and then they call an ambulance. <laughs> Entonces, nosotros, yeah, vamos a llamar una ambulancia porque esto aquí no nos toca y nos... And we're, oh, my God, this person could die. And one police had to call another police, and the police had to call an ambulance. So um, one person there, he says, look, he needs to go to the hospital. Can we put him in the pickup? Just put the sirens, you know. No, we can't do that. We can't do that, the police said. And everybody started getting angry. Why not? Policia, you guys are useless, blah, 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 blah. No. You know, and this big scene. So, but eventually they did. I mean, they, they put him in the in the pickup and they took him to the hospital. But imagine, imagine our policemen here. <laughs> the one. No, and the funny is that they go and they look at him. ¿Qué le pasa? No, he's <laughs> he's just dancing. <laughs> <laughs> he's dancing. He's... He he likes dancing. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, number two, there was very little space between Autry and the bottom of the train. True. True. Mm -hmm. Yes. Autry yeah, jumped yes. onto the tracks because he wanted to be a hero. False. 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 Okay, the next it says lesson objective. By the end of this lesson, participants will learn will be able to practice using future perfect and future perfect conditions. Continuous. Oh, continuous. Thank you. you. We understand present perfect, right? That's easy. I have eaten. Yeah. I have gone. 
now we will practice the future perfect. We always use have, we always use I have eaten, except we use auxiliaries to express a future, which is will or going to. So let's check this out. Hello, in this class, we will show you when and how to use future perfect and future perfect continuous. Future perfect and future perfect continuous. Use the future perfect to emphasize that something will be completed or achieved by a particular point in the future. By this time next year, your self-confidence will have increased. Use the future perfect continuous to emphasize the duration of an activity in progress at a particular point in the future. By the end of next year, you will have been studying your chosen language for 12 months. Future perfect and future perfect continuous. They express the completion or duration of an action or event at some point in the future. They can be used to talk about an event or action that started in the past, but will not be completed until the future. The future perfect. The future perfect is made up of the simple future of will plus the present perfect. For example, by this time next year, I will have graduated from school. The future perfect continuous is made up of the simple future of will plus the present perfect continuous. Example, by this time next year, I will have been studying English for six months. Common time phrases for these sentences. After, by then, before, when, by the time, by tomorrow, by eight o'clock, this year, this month, this week, next year, next month, next week, for five hours, for 10 years, for a few days, for six months, since morning, since Friday, since 1996. Use these time expressions to write sentences using either future perfect or future perfect continuous. Number one, before this class ends. Number two, in two years time. Number three, by the end of the week. Here, let's the do this future. again. By this time. So it says, use the future perfect to emphasize that something will be completed or achieved by a particular point in the future. We use the future perfect continuous to emphasize the duration of an activity in progress, particularly in a point in the future. So let's do one thing. Uh, Giovanni, you said you have a son. He is 12, you said, right? Yeah. So what? The, uh, By this time, when do kids graduate now? When they're 16 or, or 18? Uh, I think 17. 16, man. What okay. grade is he in? Is he in? He's six, six, sixth grade right now. Seven, eight, nine, and two years more. By five years to go. So by this time in five years, yeah, he will be graduated. graduated he will school. be graduating. Gra graduating. Okay, but in, in 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 future perfect is it would be by this time in five years. Five years. He, yeah. will, have, he, he will, will have graduated high school. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you say, my son, by this time in five years, he will have graduated high school. Correct? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, let me see another one.
my my cousin by this time in three months she will have been married mm -hmm. if if Bukele doesn't close the country again mm -hmm. like I please I hope he closes the country mm -hmm. because it's gonna hurt me to give a hundred dollars like oh my god yeah <laughs> All right, so that's how you use the future perfect. One more time, it says, use the future perfect to emphasize that something will be completed or achieved. Example, Giovanni's son, he will have graduated by this time in five years. Next year, your self-confidence will have increased. Oh my God, I, I didn't press play, who's speaking? <laughs> <laughs> that was scary about who's speaking okay let me see oh okay here's good news for you Jaime Jordana you're back <laughs> where Let's see hey there is Jordana uh, Jaime by this time in three years Bukele will have what we we have continued to have we, we have a re-election. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. You know what? I, I think I I think if he has a re-election in this moment, he, he there's a big probability he will win. And then the dictator theory would be true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the dictator theory is gonna be true. No, so but by this time in three years, Bukele will have finished his Probably, but the, the plan was... Technically uh, speaking. <laughs> Technically yeah. speaking. Te technically speaking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But the plan of him is to, to have a, a to president, I don't know, for, for more than for, for a year. Yes. For a year. No, mm -hmm. wait, president is five years, not four, right? It's five. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. Okay. But the, the plan of him, of him is to have a... As a Five more years. Yeah, more than, more than, I don't know. Yeah. The plan is uh, 40 year as a president of Salvador. Yeah, and then- but, they... but you know what? It's not his fault. It's the other political party's fault. They were so bad. They were so, so, so bad that look, this is the, this and is the, I, I, I'm thinking, this I, is the action, and, to the, re, the, reaction and, and to the, the reaction to the action. Yeah. And the, and, the, and the final plan is to have a president for all Central America. Oh, yeah, it's going to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah Central yeah. America. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> there needs to be a Netflix movie about this. Okay. Yeah. But like I said, <laughs> technically speaking, by this time in three years, I think Bukele will have finished his term, have right? Finished, yeah. So, finished. like, so once again, it says here, look, the future perfect is to emphasize that something will be completed, completed or achieved. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or achieved. Yes. So Giovanni's son, Bukele's uh, presidency. Now, let's say uh, we use the future perfect continuous to emphasize the duration. The duration of activity in progress, because that every time you have continuous, is because it's it, the duration is the important part, right? Is you're doing it in that moment. So it says, by the end of next year, you will be you will have been studying your chosen language for twelve months. Ah, uh, ba 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 ba. Gary, you don't have a boyfriend, right? Yeah, I do. Oh, you do. Mm -hmm. But it's a boyfriend, boyfriend. It's not your husband, right? No, boyfriend, boyfriend. How long have you been going out? Um, let me see. More, uh, a year and a half. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's getting serious. So, <laughs> Gary, do you realize that by this time in six months, you will have been going out with him for two yeah, years now? Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know. No, yeah. No, but you see, you see the expression what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Because you, by this mm -hmm. time, it's like, because in this moment, you're going out with him. Yeah. Like this time in how many? Wait, when is Christmas? Mm -hmm. Well, no, because you said a year and a half. So by this time in six months, 
six you months. will you will have been going out with him for two years now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and no talk about rings yet dun, dun, no dun, dun, dun. all right two years is cool but you know what if it's four or five years forget it you're not gonna get married yeah. <laughs> I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Um Janita, you I'm sorry, Janita, you you live you are from Chalchuapa, you said, right? San Marcos. Yes. No, yes. she lives in San Marcos. Ah, yeah. 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 I live in San Marcos from Monday to, to Friday, and mm. I live in Chalchuapa from Saturday and Sunday. No. Oh. You travel okay. you travel to Chalchuapa oh. every week. Yes, I go to the Chalchuapa on Friday night and I come back to San Marcos on Sunday night. So how long have you lived in, in San Salvador? Six years. Six years. Yes. So then this year you will have been living in San Salvador for seven years. Yeah. Yes. Working. Yes. Okay, I, good. I, I come to San Salvador for, for my job. Okay, good. So you can say like something like that. You know, I've, I've been living in El Salvador six years. Or actually this year, I will have been living here seven years now. Yes. yes. And always in San Marcos. Yes, in San Marcos. Oh, cool. Okay, so do you understand the expression? Uh, like, for example, Yanita's example? I will have been living. Yes. Yes, I will. Uh -huh. have been. Because if I, if I, that could have been an answer also, because I asked Yanita, how long have you been living in El Salvador? In, she, in San Salvador, she could say, well, actually, this year, I will have been living here uh, seven years now. Seven years. Mm -hmm. Actually, actually, currently. No, because the, the sentence expresses that. Because if she says, you know, actually, well, she, she can say this year, I will, I will have been living here six, seven years now. Mm -hmm. So that she's expressing that co uh, continuously she has been living here for six months, for six years. And this year will be the seventh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jordana. Yes. Let me see, Jordana. Let me give you a present perfect. Future perfect. How long have you been married? Mm, five years. And when is your anniversary? January, on January 9th. So what's going to happen in next Jan? You sound very happy, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> so how long will you have been married in January 9th? January 9th. I will have been, I will have been, mm, I will have been married mm -hmm. for, for six yeah. years. In January. In January, next January, yes. All right, January. cool. Yes, that's how you say it. I, I will have been married. Yes. Yes. Been. So always think about it. I mean, present perfect is I have. I uh -huh. have been. But future perfect is I will have been. Will have been. Okay, yes. All right, so let's see, six years. What about you, Gio? How long have you been married? Um, don't ask. <laughs> oh, man, I'm, I'm very bad with the dates. Uh, I thought maybe- 10 years? Um, no. No, no, more than 10 years. <laughs> You're almost <laughs> asking. Uh, let me see. Maybe just say for more than ten years. Invent, yeah, more, invent a yeah. you invent, please. Yeah, more than more than ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah. like twelve or fifteen. 
Wow. Yes. Yeah. It's a long time. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. I know. Hey, I don't hit me. Don't, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Okay, please don't. <laughs> don't hit me. <laughs> I know I have been married more than five years. More than less than 10. Okay. Uh, so it's between five and nine years. God. You're I'm so bad. With, bad. Yes, I'm very bad with dates. Uh, I don't remember. I can't believe. Let me ask. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, check check your wife's Facebook, man. That's what I do. What about you, Jaime? How long have you been married? I'm single. Oh, I'm you're single. single. Oh, God. <laughs> How long have you been yeah. single? All, all my life. All my life. <laughs> oh, that's why you have a cool life. Yeah, yeah. Right, was right. Hey, your 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 Dana is smile a lot. Huh? What happened, <laughs> Dana? It's interesting. It's interesting. <laughs> Check that out, Gio. Gio uh, uh, so, I'm a single. What's your imagine? So twelve years, Gio. Yeah, twelve. Yeah. Whoa. At the fine, at the end, you 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 have your specific time, no? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you meet her in a rock concert? No. Nah. Church? Nah. Mm, yeah. In the black church. In black church. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. In, in work, working. Oh, okay. Yeah. The workplace. That's cool. All right. So let's see. Let's see the next part. The next part. Gaddy, we're scaring Gaddy about marriage. <laughs> I have a friend that he has a very strange relation with his wife, but it works. They have like an open marriage. I promise you, I've, I've only seen that on TV or I heard about that, but they actually do have an open marriage. Yeah, it's strange, no? It is. It's very, you know, like I I've been in his house and I I see his wife like, hi David, hi, and she leaves. The veo lunes. Okay, bye, babe. Dude, where she? She's going with her friends uh -huh. to the beach. You know, like I mean, it's normal, but like. Uh -huh. You know, she just tells him, "Hey, look, I'm a, I'm okay. away a no week." Things like that. But he does but, the same thing too. But when you said open marriage, it's because they are going out with somebody else or just because they do whatever they want? They do whatever they want, but eventually I think they know that. They know because this yeah. friend of mine, I was single in that time and, you know, like, hey, let's go to the beach. He, all he would do is like, hey, I'm not going to come home, sleep tonight. And she was okay. Just please be careful. Boom, boom. I see that they have kids. Yeah. No, they, they they have a good relation. They're like, I think they're like best friends, man. And I tried to speak with him about it, but he, you know, like, dude, I, I don't know. I, I find that strange, and he tells me why. Why is that strange? I mean, I love her, but. She has to live her life. I live my life. You know? oh, 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 that's imagine. I, I, I couldn't live in a relation like that. Me neither. Yeah. Imagine suddenly I get a phone call. And my wife, hello. Hey, hi. What's up? Hey, look, Mira. I'm not gonna go. Um, I'm not gonna go sleep tonight. All right. Okay, baby. But remember, be careful. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Just be careful. Come on. Come on. <laughs> But they they have been married for like twenty years, maybe that's 20 it. Years. Yeah. Probably. All right. Let me see. Now it says knowledge check. Here, let's do this like this. Oh, let me see. 
So number one, can you see number one? By this time tomorrow, June will travel for 24 hours. So what is this telling you about June? June is traveling, right? Yeah, by this time tomorrow, June will have been traveling for 24 hours. Yeah. Will have been traveling yeah. for 20 hours. Yeah. So let's see. Yes, by this time tomorrow, June will have been traveling for 24 hours. Number two, by the end of next week, they will have been stalling his phone. Then we can call him. Yeah. And by the end of the next, next week, they will have installed his phone. Then we can call him. Mm -hmm. Number three, he'll be going out more after a few weeks because he will have been more familiar with the city. So he'll be going out more after a few weeks because he will be more familiar with the city. After studying English for a few months, he will have felt more confident about speaking to people. So after studying English for a few months, he will feel more confident about speaking with more people. Hold on, after studying English for a few months, he will be more confident about. Okay. <sighs> yeah, this is correct, although there's two sentences. But okay. Here's the platform. So uh, that was the example of. Um, of a, uh, hold on. Of Gadi. <laughs> the example of Gadi is by this time, and by this time in six months, Gadi will have been going out with her boyfriend for two years. <laughs> is he still a gentleman? Yes. He still opens the door for you and mm, lets you sometimes. choose from the menu first. Yeah, sometimes that I know how can I say it? I want sometimes that he can decide to say now I want to eat uh, any stuff. But most of the time I am the one who choose what to eat, what to do. Maybe that's what you think. Yeah. <laughs> My wife thought that she always chose where we eat, but okay. unconsciously it was me. Oh, well. Like, let me give an example. Let's say we, I wanted to go to um, Benigan's because mm -hmm. I wanted a hamburger. So if I tell my wife in that time, hey, so what do you want to do? Where do you want to go? And I said, let's go to Benigan's. She said, no, we always go where you want to go. Okay. Don't get a hit. I don't know. <laughs> you know, you know, sometimes, okay, you want to go to McDonald's? No. So, okay, you want to go eat Mexican food? No. Dude, what do you want? You just, you want? <laughs> yeah, you're just saying no because, okay. So, <laughs> and those are so I learned. And she says, okay, so what do you want? I don't know. I want something different. Okay, because you said you want something different. Why don't we go to Benigan's? There's a variety. There's Mexican food, there's like American food, there's traditional food. I mean, there's a whole bunch of things from the menu, you know, because you said you don't know what you want to eat. So when you see the menu there, if you don't like that, then okay, go to Mexican, go to Italian. It's like, yeah, yeah you're right. Let's go to Benigan's and Tosos. <laughs> <laughs> so she thought she chose, but I did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, but I did. I used to do that with her. I, I, I always chose the movies, the restaurants. Yeah, con los años capto, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but many years later, she would tell me, you know what? We always end up eating where you want. No, baby, I let you choose. No, you don't. 
Ya te puedo. <laughs> But it works. So by this time next year, he probably will not have been writing us many letters, but he will have continued to write to him anyway. So the answer is by this time next year, he probably will not have written us no. many letters, mm -hmm. but he will continue to write to him anyway. It's the same thing. Yes. Almost. Almost. Yeah. Keep in mind Almost. that um, present perfect is not frequently used. It's not, it's not frequently used. I mean, it is used, but not not like present perfect is, is present perfect you use every day simple present you use every day present perfect you really don't but it's important because it's important to know all right and um i will see you on, on monday we finish this and and five on monday and we're cool okay 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 have a great weekend oh and i still owe you the virtual pupusas Yeah. Maybe we'll have them on Monday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have a good night. Hey, you, right. you, you, you're inviting for, for Monday. <laughs> you will be invited too for Monday, huh? Jalapeno pupusas. <laughs> hey, Gio, you know, today I bought a, a 12 pack of Regia. Uh, for, de las cholas. <laughs> yes. Wow. For $5.60. Five. Yes. And three. They estaban in liquidación because they expiran. Mañana. <laughs> no, like in two or three weeks. Yeah. This weekend will die. And when I saw it, will like, disappear this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> gonna disappear. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. You know. I said, no, you know, we need to help the. the, the 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 supermarkets, the company, yeah, the economy. Of the yes, country. of course. You help me, I help you. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> okay. All right, class. Bye bye. 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 bye.